Welcome back to J-Dubs Aquatics. We got a great topic for you today, saltwater reef tank dosing. First, I want to take a moment to say thank you to all those that have served our country and fought for our freedom so we can sit here and do things like make these silly fish videos. I hope you all had a happy and safe Memorial weekend, had lots of barbecues and went fishing and all that good stuff. So today's topic is dosing in the saltwater reef aquarium. What is dosing? Not to be confused with feeding or dosing coral foods. Dosing is the process of replacing or replenishing lost major and minor elements consumed by corals and other tank inhabitants. The main three which we're really going to focus on today being calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Then you have trace elements, which there's really too many to mention, and most of us, water changes are enough to keep up on these. Why should I dose? Over time, corals and other invertebrates will use up these major and minor elements to grow. Unstable parameters in a reef aquarium equals trouble. So when do I need to start dosing? The short answer, when your levels are depleted. You'll need test kits for calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. The more you advance and the more corals you have, the more important dosing becomes, especially with stony coral. Example, a three-month-old aquarium with 10 small corals can usually be maintained by regular water changes with a good quality reef salt like reef crystals. And this early in the hobby, most of us don't have all of the necessary test kits to test for all these levels and properly replace them. So water changes is usually the easiest option. Whereas in a tank like mine, heavily stocked with delicate stony coral, even with weekly water changes, without dosing or replenishing these elements, my tank would crash in a matter of weeks. Calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium would fall out of balance, corals would start to suffer, and the pH may even drop to an unsafe level that could be lethal for my fish. So how much do I need to dose? This is where test kits are super important. One key thing to remember is if you don't test for it, do not dose it. Overdosing can be just as bad, if not worse, than having depleted levels. Start with quality test kits like Salifert or Hanna Checkers. This is the foundation for a healthy, long-term, successful reef tank. The most important three being alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. As you progress, water changes will no longer keep up with replenishing these elements. This usually happens in one to two years depending on how fast you collect corals and how fast your corals are growing. Once you reach the point where you realize it's time to start dosing, I recommend a simple system like BRS two-part, which actually consists of three parts, the calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium that we've been talking about. This system is very easy to follow affordable and lasts a long time. Some other methods of dosing would include adding Kalkwasser to your auto top off, which isn't that hard, or using a calcium reactor, which is a little bit more advanced. I don't have any personal experience with these methods. If you do, please share in the comments below. The BRS two-part dosing system, which I currently use, is very affordable. I believe they cost about $50 and can last over a year depending on your stocking levels and how fast you go through these elements. BRS 2 part can be dosed manually, meaning by hand, or done with automated dosing pumps. There is a reef calculator on Bulk Reef Supplies website. Test your levels, input them one by one into the reef calculator along with your water volume and it gives you an exact number in milliliters of how much of each solution you need to dose to bring each level to the appropriate number. Dosing is best done daily in order to keep parameters stable and prevent swings that can be detrimental to your livestock. With automated dosing pumps, you can even easily break up your daily dose into several smaller doses, keeping your parameters even more stable. So again, a key thing to remember here if you don't test for it, do not dose it. I'll put a link in the description below to Bulk Reef Supplies website so you can check out the two-part dosing system if this is something that interests you. I'll also put a link in the description to Bulk Reef Supplies Reef Calculator. That's all I have for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, 
make sure to give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. As always, happy fish keeping, and we'll see you next time on J-Dubs Aquatics.